30 years have since passed. And while a whole lot has changed, the song remains the same. The Wolf Still Rocks. Hey there, it's Brian Ellis, Morning Show host, uh, 101.5 The Wolf, as we continue to celebrate The Wolf's 30th birthday. Uh, the video series continues. We launched the station February 14th, 1992, and this lady was along for part of that journey. We say hello to Cairo McDonnell. Hello, Cairo. How's it going? Long time no chat. I know it's been a few, it's been almost two years. It's been a couple of years since you yeah. left us. Um, so now you are one of the more recent uh, employees mm -hmm. that I'll be uh, chatting with on this video series. Um, talk to us about uh, your journey uh, getting to the wolf. Wow. Uh, well, it was my first job out of school. So thanks, Rob, for taking a chance on someone that didn't know very much. Rob but, Sagan, um, our program director. Yes. Yeah. So I, um, it was one of the first jobs that I applied to. Uh, I was an intern at the time. And um, I, yeah, just I got the interview, totally thought I bombed it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then I got the call and started working weekend swing. Now, you went uh, to, to school for radio, right? Yeah, I did. I went no, to Humber. Humber. Okay. And that was, is that a two-year course? or? Yep. Yeah, two years. Two-year course. Okay. So, I mean, I know how tough it is now for students to get into radio. Um, pretty good break for you to be able to join uh, not only a, you know, a radio station, but to be able to join a, a, an established station like The Wolf. Yeah, it was definitely, I think I was, I was with The Wolf for two and a half almost three years mm -hmm. and it was such an amazing time to be learning getting to work in all of the different um like day parts and, and doing middays and afternoons and uh i'd learned so so much working at the wolf and you know you you moved to peterborough as well um, yeah I did. And, and your thoughts on the city I miss Peterborough so much. I definitely still think of Peterborough as one of my homes. I mean, the music scene in Peterborough and just, I lived downtown, which was absolutely amazing. So yeah, just getting to experience the town for a few years, I definitely still think of it as one of my homes. Right. Um, you know, and we, we talked about sort of like the, the break that you got um, coming out of college and, and, and getting your first job. And I guess the nice thing about, you know, your time spent in Peterborough was the fact that, yeah, you were hired as, you know, weekends, mm -hmm. um, but you did do some events and you did do afternoon drive and a midday show and things like that. Yeah, I mean, um, getting to MC Beer Fest, that was the first MC thing that I had done in a very long time. There was a lot of people there, so yeah. <laughs> that was definitely nerve-wracking, but it was so much fun. Do you uh, do you remember who you uh, what band you had to intro? Do you remember? Oh my gosh, no, that was definitely a few years ago. I don't remember yeah, at this point. I was just going to say, you, you start to lose track after a while, but I, <laughs> yeah. I do, I, and I can't remember either, because I do remember, I think I was there when you were up on stage, and I thought, wow, good for her getting up, uh, because it was at, it was at Millennial Park, I believe. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The corner of uh, King and Water, um, and you're right, I, you know, that's one of the things that I miss from the last couple of years, you talked about, you know, the live music scene in Peterborough. And that's one of the things that I love about Peterborough, but I'm kind of missing right now with the pandemic, but thankfully we're coming out of it. So for sure. Yeah. I mean, I still follow the wolf on Facebook and everything. So I'm seeing uh, a bunch of drive-in concerts that are happening, which is so cool that, you know, through the pandemic, we've been able to do things like that and find new ways to experience and enjoy music. Yeah. So the Wolf in Peterborough was, um, I guess, a stepping stone for you. You kind of got your, <laughs> your, your feet wet in radio and then you did move on. Now, now where are you now? So I'm actually in Thunder Bay now. So I took the, took the leap and moved 15 hours from home. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do afternoon drive here now. Nice. Excellent. And you know what, that's a, that's a pretty good jump. Um, you know, because sometimes announcers will go from, you know, part-time to, to, you know, maybe a, a midday show or maybe mm -hmm. an evening show if you can find one, but to go to afternoon drive, that's pretty good. So good for you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it was definitely a, a, a leap. And um, I, I credit I credit the wolf with a lot of that because I just I learned 
so much about who I wanted to be as a broadcaster and and how to present myself and and really how to do my job. So it, yeah. it was really helpful being at the Wolf for so long. Cairo McDonnell, uh, again, uh, joined us uh, part-time and then got to fill in on a bunch of different shifts and was out doing some events in the city. And uh, we'd like to see you back in Peterborough sometime. If you're back in the area, stop by and say hi. Oh, I definitely will. All right. Cairo, thanks so much and great chatting with you. Thanks for reminiscing about your time with the Wolf. Thanks and happy birthday, Wolf. Hey, thank you. (laughs) 